Howdy, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is King Nub here back with Red Liberty Media here at YWLS. I am not a woman, obviously, and the person I'm here today is also not a woman, but you may know him. Sir, please introduce yourself. Stephen Davis, a.k.a. the MAGA Hulk. Yes, indeed. You've probably heard of MAGA Hulk. Sir, I want to figure out what's been going on with you recently. What's going on in the world of MAGA Hulk? Please inform us. Well, just going to different uh, campuses and talking to these students and trying to inform them on uh, you know different things, especially when it comes to the conservative lifestyle, when it comes to politics, when it comes to uh, what's going on in the culture war. You know, just trying to better equip them, try to better inform them, and uh, help them to stand the test of time when it comes to a lot of the issues that are plaguing this daggone country. So, just giving them uh, encouragement. That's what it's all about. True, absolutely. And you see with the growing generation, there's a lot of things that kind of influence them to not be conservative. You saw with Roe v. Wade, a lot of people are coming out angrily, like very angrily against this. What are your thoughts on like Roe v. Wade being potentially overturned, that being overturned to the states? What's, what's your take on that? Well, it, first and foremost, it needs to happen, okay? I mean, there's no right to be able to kill the unborn. I mean, that shouldn't be a right in the first place, okay? There's no, you know, some type of right to privacy is what they try to use to try to justify such a thing. No, no, you're trying to uh, uh, use such a, a despicable thing to be able to kill babies, to be able to kill children. That's wrong. I'm sorry. That's morally wrong. That's morally reprehensible. So it's about time that we overturn this and get back to morality, which is what the United States of America was built upon, the idea of morality, especially when it comes to saving the lives of the unborn. That's what we need to do, and that's what we're going to continue to push in the coming uh, uh, days and hopefully weeks. Absolutely. Um, I think his name is John Adams, who famously quoted, this society and this country is built for a religious and moral people and is wholly inadequate without that. So I believe you're absolutely right. And you see recently with these people who are saying um, we should have the right to kill our babies, kill our babies, and then school shootings happen. And they, they will then turn around, stop killing our babies, but then they don't care about the babies in the womb. You saw about this recent um, shootings, right? Now they're going to come after guns and gun rights and gun owners. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? Like, how should people be facing that, or should we be, should people be scared? Well, one thing I will definitely say is the hypocrisy of the left knows no bounds. Okay, one moment they're talking about it's a woman's right to choose to be able to kill their child, then the next moment they're talking about, oh my goodness, you let kids die. Oh my gosh, you're such a terrible person for letting kids die. No, well, first and foremost, the Second Amendment guarantees our right to be able to bear arms, first and foremost. Secondly, we need to be able to protect our daggone children. How about that for an idea? And that's something that's, when it comes to us on the right, we have been very consistent with this messaging, okay? Protect the young, protect the unborn, protect the vulnerable. That's one thing that we're all about. So when it comes to the Second Amendment, hey, how about we have an armed guard or armed guards when it comes to these schools and, and, and protecting our, these, these children that are vulnerable? I mean, you have armed guards when it comes to these politicians, you have armed guards. When it comes to banks, you have armed guards. When it comes to airports and whatnot. But why not have armed guards when it comes to the most vulnerable among us, and that's children, innocent children. So when it comes to the Second Amendment, you've got to understand that we have the right to bear arms, and we're going to continue to promote that till the day is dead gone long, because it is our amendment, Second Amendment right. Amen, man. Oh, um, I think the last... One last question here. Um, we saw about the COVID lockdowns. We saw how that was conducted, mm. right? And you know, there's this new thing coming up, monkeypox. Oh. I wonder how they're going to be conducting that. Will there be more lockdowns? And if so, how should the conservative or the average American really look to this? Should people be, well, another lockdown or another pandemic? What should we do? Well, first and foremost, there will always be some type of uh, plague that is going to uh, come across that the left is going to try to use to manipulate to scare the masses, right? They saw uh, this surge in power. They, they felt the surge in power when it came to them and imposing their will on the American people in regards to COVID, right? So when it comes to monkeypox, when it comes to any other ailment that comes across, it happens all the time, right? I mean, since the dawn of time, there have been 
pestilence and plague, you know, uh, affecting the people. So, I mean, are we going to sit here and lock down every single time something like this happens? Or are we going to stand up and say, hey, you know, after, you know, what we experienced when it came to COVID and we saw the transfer of power from we the people to they the politicians, okay? So now we got to look at it and say, hey, we're going to take our power back, all right? You're not going to impose your will on the American people any longer. We're going to stand up. We're going to let our voice be heard. We're going to stand up and be counted. And daggone, if we stand together as a, uh, as we the people, how about that for an idea? Stand together as we the daggone people and say, hey, you know what? It's not happening anymore. You're not taking the power away from us anymore. And we're going to stand for our rights. And that's what we need to do as a people because we have more power together than we do apart. And they want us apart because we don't have power. And they know that. Divide and conquer. So we got to stand together. And I, my message to the American people is to stand together against the tyranny that they wish to impose upon us. Absolutely. I feel you 100% there. Sir, this has been very pleasant. Where can the people find you? Yes, uh, you can find me on Twitter, uh, uh, Stephen D, uh, 1776, uh, Stephen with the PH, the real way. Yes, indeed. And you can also find me at Stephen uh, Davis, 1776 on Instagram as well. Again, with the PH, not a V, I'm the real one. Yes, indeed. So uh, definitely follow me there. Folks, this has been King Nub of Bradley Media. We'll see you next time.